what up what up what up it's your boy jb coming right back at you welcome back to the channel man i had to jump on real fast because i wanted to talk about jj reddick being hired as the coach but more importantly i want to talk about lebron opting out what i thought was interesting is the lakers clearly wanted dan hurley i think the lakers wanted out by wanted out from up under clutch and lebron james I think they're tired of seeing the same thing happen every two or three years. And when Dan Hurley said no, clearly it put all the power back in LeBron James's hands. Now, why am I going there? Why am I going there, guys? JR, JJ Reddick gets signed. He's the new head coach. We know that's who LeBron wanted the whole time. We know the podcast they do together. All of this stuff was planned. This is one thing you got to give LeBron credit for. LeBron does everything strategic. Well, now he opts out because he got the coach he wanted. But he opts out because he knows Bronny has to get drafted and he knows the Lakers are going to have to figure out a way to get him the players that he wants in. Now, I don't know who he's going to go after. I really don't. But you know he's not going to opt in until they start making trades and they get they commit to drafting Bronny. And I don't know what this does for J.J. Redick because J.J. Redick is an X and O guy which means J.J. Reddick needs players he can develop. And I'll be honest with you guys, I don't know what veterans want to come in and listen to J.J. Reddick. I mean, granted, now he's, he's, he's definitely pro player. If he's on first take, he's always defending the players and that kind of thing. But there's a difference when you're an analyst versus, and you're coming on first take and you're doing some podcasts versus leading men every day. And I think LeBron is showing exactly why the Lakers wanted to try to hire Dan Hurley. Because now they had to hire J.J. Reddick because the draft is coming up. LeBron's going to opt out, get his 50, 60 million a year, which he should. He earned. But now they got to draft Bronny. I don't know who they're going to attract because what player has said, goody gumdrop, I want to go play for J.J. Reddick. Even since he's been hired, who's saying, man, I want to go out there now. I don't know what the Lakers achieved. And I think it's on LeBron to figure out. Are you going to trade AD? You better trade somebody because you got to get somebody in there that can A, shoot, B, want to play for J.J. Redick and not going to run over him. Because I, I think LeBron, at the end of the day, everybody knows this is LeBron's hire, which means if J.J. Redick doesn't win immediately, J.J. Redick going to be out of there just like Darvin Ham was. So I'm looking to see who, who the Lakers makes him hire as an assistant. Because let's be honest, guys. The Lakers normally does. They normally do that. They'll hire somebody and then choose their assistants too. Remember, that's how Jason Kidd got on Frank Vogel's staff because he was going to be the coach and waiting and that kind of thing. I'm waiting to see who are they going to make J.J. Redick hire because he clearly has never had any coaching experience. He knows the NBA. He knows basketball, but there's a difference in coaching and the playing it. And just because you're a great player don't make you a great coach. And LeBron is, LeBron is playing the mind games, which is actually hamstringing J.J. Reddick right now and I think J.J. Reddick should go ahead and tell LeBron man I need you to opt in we don't need to play these games we need to get this roster going and if we trying to win look man look if we need to send your son on a two way contract or something we don't want to waste the, we don't want to waste a roster spot for somebody who's not going to help us get to the playoffs LeBron needs to recognize he's got to attract some playoff caliber guys and they not going to want to play with Bronny man Let's be honest. They just not. And, and J.J. Reddick needs to go ahead and start saying it, that, man, look, I got to take control of this team up front right now. Because if he doesn't, he going to live with LeBron, but you die by him. And if they don't change that team, y'all might not even, the Lakers may not even make it to the playoffs next year, man. Y'all get down in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about the J.J. Reddick situation and the LeBron situation. Do you think it's hurting J.J. or helping J.J.? He and LeBron know everything that's going on every step of the way. If you hadn't already, mash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notifications. And until next time, I'm going to holler.